I want to see if I can. Okay, so we are now live, I think. All righty, so I'm just going to go ahead and welcome all of our virtual college, um, welcome you to the virtual college exploration for all North Carolina and South Carolina students. Um, we're sponsored by the South, the Carolina Association of Collegiate Registrar and Admissions Office and the Strive Scan. Uh, we want to thank you for joining us today. We're going to go over a few housekeeping rules before we get started. Um, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your question or to your presenters at any time. Um, your camera and microphone are off, so panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the different sessions that's happening today, so be sure to check out all the full schedule at cacro.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same time at the same website, cacro.org. Um, now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. All right, let's get going. All right, uh, how's everybody doing? Um, my name is Brittany Washington. I am the senior admissions counselor here at Viper University. Uh, today we're just going to be giving you um, a little overview about what, who we are at Viper University, what we have to offer you guys coming in, um, and hopefully that will turn over to you guys uh, putting in a free application and uh, joining our family sometime soon. All right, so here at Viper University, we do preach excellence. Uh, we were founded in 1885. Um, we're represented by 19 states and eight different countries. Um, we also have 40 plus majors and minors, so you guys definitely are going to have a lot of things that you can choose from that you can dabble into if you want to do a major and a minor together. If you're not really sure what you're looking for, I always like to tell my kids undecided is, the, uh, is the one of the top majors we have here. Um, so you don't have to come into it. Uh, exactly knowing what you want to do. Um, we're going to have people here that are going to help you kind of figure out what your pathway is going to be. Um, so you can kind of take, take your time on that. We are about 30 to 45 minutes from Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're in pretty much the metropolitan area of North Carolina. You can pretty much get to anything. If you want to go to a college football game, if you want to go to an NBA game, uh, maybe after COVID's over, um, we can start doing things like that again. Um, our student to faculty ratio is about 13 to 1. Um, so it is very small and intimate, the classroom size. You don't have to worry about being a number. Uh, your professor's going to know exactly who you are, what sports you play, anything you're interested in. Also, if you're having a little bit of trouble in things, they're also going to be able to help you with things like that. And you can go to them, they're going to know exactly who you are. Um, we also have 100% job placement with our majors and minors. Um, so that comes with internships. You guys are going to be able to go to your professors and say, hey, this is what I'm looking to do. And we're also going to be able to place you on a job that's going to propel you into your career later on. We have 100% pass rate for our, um, our NCLEX, so if you guys are in the nursing field, um, this, is a, this is the place you want to be. Um, our nursing program is one of the top elite programs that we do offer here. Um, so if you want some more information, we'll uh, have our contact information at the end of the slide to let you know how you can get in touch with us.
the bottom ones, you can kind of see different pictures of students studying abroad in Australia, New Zealand, and Italy. And if you look at that middle picture right there, that's one of our office staff, which she went to school here. She's like a professor in the college program for TEP, which is awesome. And a lot of our students do take advantage of that. All right, so this is something just going to give you um, a little bit of background of, of what we look like. Um, we uh, we kind of cover everything, all walks of life, uh, all different race and ethnicity. Um, we are very big in the international program. Actually, Sierra serves as our international counselor. Um, so if, if we have any international students coming in, Sierra will be the one that you guys are talking to. We also break it down so you guys can see uh, the male versus female ratio um, that looks at what it looks like on our campus here at Viking. Like I said, Viking does more for students than just in the classroom. We do encourage our students to get involved. We have over 30 clubs and organizations that we encourage our students to be a part of. So any student who's being involved in lessons life, being orientation leader, you can also get involved in Greek life here at Pfeiffer. And student government is a real popular thing to get involved with. And if you have no idea what you want to get involved with, but you know you want to get involved with something, I highly recommend being involved with our campus activity board. Because that kind of oversees all the events going on on campus and will help you really find your fit when it comes to getting involved. All right, we're getting a few things. We're going to try to fix this uh, this volume here. So if you guys uh, don't mind, just bear with me for a second. Don't don't get it working. Don't worry about it. Technology. All right, if you guys don't mind, let me know um, how that how that works out a little bit better. Hopefully, you guys can uh, can hear us. Get right back into it. All right, guys. I apologize for that. All right, we're gonna pick up where we left off, y'all. Y'all, let me know if you, if you uh, if the sound is a little bit better, um, and we'll keep going. All right, so it's Pfeiffer is membership, so we really want to aid in our students in semester at Pfeiffer, so we um, give them plenty of opportunities and plenty of resources for that. So the first thing I'll touch on is our Pfeiffer journey. Throughout as a first year seminar that our freshmen participated, it kind of gives them a hand um, in anything academic, social, uh, professional. It just kind of really helps them open to get through their freshman year to get more involved in that campus. And those are actually led by the personal academic advisors. So not only is your academic advisor responsible for helping you pick out all those classes that you need throughout the four years, they also do these responsibility tasks to get to the next step that you have done. Our peer mentors are student to student program, and they also do a pretty similar thing to your Pfeiffer Journey Seminar, but on a more personal note. They're there to really be, um, be there as a mentor, be there to help like, if you need anything like event-wise, if you just need someone as a friend, if you just need something, they're there for you. And our peer assistants are treating at Pfeiffer is great for all students. If you're struggling in the class and really need help, you can go to our tutoring office and they'll be able to help you. And vice versa, if you are just stellar in a class and you're looking for an on campus job, getting involved in being a tutor can be a great way to make some money and help some of your fellow students. And then our career and in, in, in internship counseling services that kind of goes back to what I was saying about getting involved with study abroad as well as um, internships. Uh, the, that office is great and they'll provide you all the resources that you need. And if you're thinking of applying to graduate school, we do have an office here that helps you with your application well as preparing for your exams to get into grad school. And so all the things that I'm mentioning are free for our students. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. And much closer to the camera. Okay. <laughs> we make it we make it very personal here guys. So uh, we're gonna get it rocking. 
closer to the camera now. <laughs> All right. Um, so just a little tidbit for you guys. Uh, I am an alumni of Piper University. Graduated in 2015. Played basketball, uh, women's basketball. So this slide is, is very near and precious to my heart. Um, we are a Division three institution uh, with 20 different uh, varsity athletic teams. That ranges all the way from men's and women's basketball, softball, baseball. A lot of these different uh, organizations also have different titles. So we have one national title, which is uh, men's soccer. We have four ECAC different titles and four USA South titles. Um, a lot of those range from baseball, softball, um, and also uh, men's soccer. Uh, so if you guys are interested in, in coming and being a part of Piper University, let us know if we want. If you guys want us to kind of bridge that uh, communication between you and the coaches, we will definitely be uh, happy to do that for you. All right, so this, this is the big one. Piper is affordable. That's something that we preach to everybody across all of, across all of our um, conversations that we have. Uh, more than 95% of uh, Piper University students receive financial assistance. Um, that's definitely something your parents are going to want to hear. Um, also, 28 million. And financial aid awards. So that's going to come through your FAFSA. If you guys haven't already heard about that, it's going to uh, open up on October 1st. Um, so as soon as that date comes around, you guys get with your parents or your guardian, sit down with them, and let's hash out that, um, that, that FAFSA. As soon as we get that into us, you get it sent to Pfizer University. We can sit down and help you have those conversations with your parents or yourself and let you know what those prices are going to look like. If you guys need anything from us, always be, you know, be sure to be open with us, and we will definitely love to help you guys. Um, when it comes to that uh, affordable, affordable price. Um, 10.5 million institutional aid awarded annually, that comes from us. That's what we are giving you guys. So make sure you keep those GPAs high. We want to award you the most that we can. Um, and me as your counselor, I, I want to see you guys succeed. So keep it, keep working in high school. Please have high GPAs. Um, you know, we'll work with you, but make sure you're getting it done in the classroom. Now, so talking about applying to Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer is on a rolling admissions basis, so you can apply right this second if you would like. The only things that you need for me for us uh, to review your uh, application is a completed application, which you can find online at Pfeiffer.edu, completely free, so you can get that done. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete, so that's pretty simple. Then we also need an official high school transcript sent from your guidance counselor, either through email, or you can send it through one of the platforms that your school uses. Apply now. Yes. It's free. I'm just gonna say I feel my personality. So y'all apply as soon as you get off here. It takes 10 to 15 <laughs> minutes. All right. Um, so we are open despite everything going on. I know you guys are having it tough being back in school. Everything looks a little bit different. We're talking to you through the, the screen. I can't touch you, I can't feel you, I can't see you guys. Um, and I love to be in front of my students. So uh, with that being said, we are open right now. We are doing socially distant campus visit tours. That looks a little bit different from what we've done in the past. Um, but the only thing that we're changing are face coverings are required, which I know you guys are seeing uh, anywhere you go out in public right now. Um, we're doing uh, only things on campus for now, so we're, we're kind of limiting the academic buildings that we're going in, but you guys are still seeing the big part of campus. Um, and me personally, I want you guys to come visit campus. I want to see want to talk to your family, see what you're interested in. Um, so if you can go to that website, even after we get off of here, it's go.pfeiffer.edu backslash SBCV. Um, and you can register for that socially distant campus visit here. So we're happy to follow CDC social distancing guidelines. So that means that a lot of our classrooms are spread out. We've got six feet social distancing. Um, Day, which is really nice for our students just to make sure they are safe, they are comfortable, they feel okay going to classes and everything. And all of our students, faculty, and staff have received a Pfizer University face mask and they will wear them all times on campus in classrooms, um, in main areas when they're going to grab some food, just making sure those face masks are always on, especially when they're in groups. And we do have um, some of our classes have moved online or they've been in a hybrid mode, so half online, half in person. And I think we've already established a quarantine floor um, by our residence life for students who may become symptoms or have tested positive. Overall, we're just making sure that our students can feel safe as well as our faculty and staff being on campus to continue to live the Pfizer life, but doing it safely. All right, that's that's all Pfizer at home. Um, like I said, I'm alumni 2015. Um, back here working. I want you guys to come and see what we offer. Um, if, if you're if you're somebody that's looking for a home, it's a very home atmosphere. 
here. Everybody knows who everybody is on this campus. We're going to be here to help you. Uh, the freshman class that we just brought in, we just took uh, a student over to our cafe and, and got him some coffee. Um, so that's that's the type of, of community that we have. You'll have those relationships when you come to Pfeiffer. Um, I'm a walking testimony of it, uh, and I know we just brought Sierra on board, and she can kind of attest to that um, a little bit as well. I'll let her share that, but Pfeiffer's where you want to be. So yeah, I went to school at a really big state school. It was thirty thousand students, one person in the classroom. Uh, like one case in my classroom of 200 students. I was a name on a list. My professor just, they, they tried, but there were so many students. If you're at Pfeiffer, everyone knows who you are. Like I've walked to get a cup of, get a cup of coffee and people recognize me that like I've only seen once or twice on campus because we've been making this for so many years. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, like an actual home and actual people that care about you, I would highly, highly recommend you to Pfeiffer. I'm um, also going to give you guys some homework. I know I'm not going to be able to know everybody who's tuned in today, but y'all's homework for us at Pfeiffer University is to go and apply for free. Take 15 to 20 minutes, probably the easiest homework assignment of your life. Ask, you know, a lot of you are already uh, working virtually, so, you know, what's it to add another tab to your computer and go ahead and send us that application. Go ahead and send in those transcripts. Make sure you send it uh, officially from your high school counselor. If not, you can always send it through a service provided to you, such as Park, Naviant, CSNC. Go ahead and apply today. See yourself here. <laughs> uh, for more information, you guys can reach out to us. The two lovely ladies on your screen right there, myself, Brittany Washington. Um, our contact information is at the bottom. Sierra has, and my contact information is there as well. Oh, awesome. See you guys here on campus. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and put in the chat if you if you need any questions answered about anything. Um, I appreciate everybody logging in. Um, if you guys have any questions, let us know. If you guys have any questions, just let us know. We are here to answer anything. Um, undergraduate admissions, like I said, uh, 40 plus majors on campus, majors and minors. Uh, so if you guys have anything, I've interacted with a few of you, so y'all thank you for uh, um, you know, getting with us on, on the, the sound and everything at first. So make sure we're working with us on that. Okay, North, North, oh, North Arden, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, is that your, is that your screen for this one? Okay, so uh, North Iredale, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina, so excuse me. Um, Lindsay is actually going to be your counselor. Her name is Miss Lindsay Ash. It's L Y N Z I E dot Ash, A S H E, at Pfeiffer.edu. Um, she will be taking care of you. Uh, North Iredale, we, we got you. I think we got some stuff scheduled for you guys. are there. So we have about 800 to 900 on campus um, and that is pretty much all of undergrad. Um, our commuter base kind of makes that up uh, as well since we are in a smaller community um, but 800 to 900 on our undergraduate campus for sure. Yeah okay yeah y'all keep interacting I like this. I need, I need some uh, just applied uh, <laughs> here. Just send an application, working on it now. Um, I don't know if we mentioned this or not, but we are a test optional school, so you're not required to send in your SAT or ACT. Like we said, all we need is that free application and to get those transcripts sent over to us. If I have any of my out-of-state kids, South Carolina, 
Um, Y'all let me know in the chat. Uh, I can go ahead and um, we'll get that conversation going. If you guys want to go ahead and um, do the inquiry form online or do the application, uh, I'll be talking to you guys at least within the week or so. Um, got, got something for you guys that I'm working on, so hopefully that'll, um, hopefully that'll get you here. Yes, thank you, Sean. Um, Sean, you did your research. I like that. I hope you're okay with me saying your name on here, but I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, so basically what that entrance exam is, is just a placement test. It's not going to um, give you a grade or anything. It's just kind of um, seeing where you're at when you come in to school as, as a freshman. Um, and I think it's at least takes maybe like a, a sort of an hour. Um, and then you also take one right before you leave. So it's just a placement test to kind of see where you're at, um, you know, what you know coming in and, and what you leave out knowing. Um, I took it when I was a freshman and when I left here as a senior. Um, and I still graduated, so... <laughs> Um, it's, it's not hard at all. Like I said, just, just a simple placement test um, just to kind of see where you're at um, and we'll take one that you leave out. Good question. Thank you for um, asking. For somebody that didn't know that. I know, for, I know for sure there's two uh, two people that need to be sending us their application uh, after these after these questions that have been coming through. So, um, like Sierra said, test optional. I know she already mentioned it, um, but that was a big thing for me. Uh, I was not a great test taker, standardized test taking. Um, so having that test optional, uh, I think it kind of gives us an advantage um, to see where you guys are academically in the class you're at, not just sitting and taking a standardized test. Um, so I think that's something that we definitely have to offer as well that many other schools may not have. have to offer. So you guys have any other questions? Well, what's your favorite thing about being a student here? Oh, okay, good job. Um, favorite thing about being a student? I was back in the heyday. I graduated in 2015, so uh, let me see. Honestly, you know, I, I had I had basketball, I had sports, um, but I think just that home atmosphere. Uh, like I said, I'm about two hours away from home here um, when I was a student, so just being able to have um, Faculty and staff and coaches, uh, not only that, my teammates and my friends that I made outside of basketball here, um, I think that made the experience a lot better. Um, not only that, when I graduated and left, I left with those connections. Uh, so I knew the dean of students, I knew the provost, which a lot of people like to on their campus probably didn't know. Um, first name basis, who the provost was or who the dean of, the dean of students was. Um, so I think for me, just being able to make those connections with people that you normally wouldn't on a bigger campus or uh, somewhere where you're just kind of like a number. Um, and I, I, I say it anytime I meet with students here in person, um, if you come here, when you come here, because I speak everything into existence, um, make, make, make sure you guys make the best of it. Get to know people that you wouldn't talk to on a normal basis. Um, you're going to meet different people from all walks of life. I left here with um, many different international friends, uh, many Canadian friends that I never would have experienced growing up where I grew up. Um, and I think those are the relationships that kind of last you all the way through your lifetime. Um, you never know who you're going to need, so make sure you remember what people's majors were, if anybody that you came in contact with. Um, your professors are going to be there to help you. Um, they're going to be on your resumes. They're going to be your people of recommendation. Um, so always keep those connections in the back of your mind. and Don't be afraid to reach out for help. Um, I ask for help all the time. If I get stuck, uh, I'll raise my hand and say I need help. Um, so I think that for me being here, that was one thing. I didn't want to be lost, um, you know, lost in the shuffle and trying to figure out where I'm going or who I need to be talking to for this. Um, you know, I, I came here and I can literally say, hey, I need this. They send me to the person I need to go to. Um, and I was able to help my incoming classmates and teammates that needed help, you know, when they got here. With me. So small family atmosphere is why I decided to come here. Obviously, sports played a part of that, but, you know, after um, after four years, I needed something that would last me whenever the ball stopped bouncing. So. And now I work here. <laughs> Must be good enough, I think, that.
Don't be shocked to have any questions, let us know. All right, so it looks like we don't have any other questions for today. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, is basically thank you guys for joining us for today. Um, we thank you. When you close this window, there will be a link for you to basically um, fill out four question survey. Um, we appreciate your feedback. Thank you for putting this together. We appreciate your time. And thank you for joining us today.